Okay, so now we are on periodic table, open your science book. If you don't have your science book, book it's going to be very hard to follow up. Open on page 292. And then we see here, just a brief review, you see here the periodic table with 103 elements. Now, we were studying last time three main groups of elements. First, I said to you the blue a what? A metal. Blue a metal. The yellow a what? No metal. And uh, pink a semi metal. So let us go now to page 294, where we gonna talk about the metal. Just to review about metal, we talked last time too. And I talked to you about the mercury. Mercury, what happened with mercury? It's a liquid. If you get in your hand, you're gonna see a little silver bubbles. So it is liquid. And I talk about gallium. The gallium, what is that? It's when you put in your hand, melt, and it has it's like a chocolate. And uh, the important thing that I want to you memorize, when you see the number 31, when you see the number 31, and then you know 31 is what? 31 is the atomic number of gallium. Then you go to periodic table, page 293, and then you see there, Atomic number 31. So it means what? The number of protons and the number of what? Neutrons. And then you go to the right side, you see the number of electrons. Uh, you see the numbers of electrons. And then you see that the first shell, you have what? Two. Two electrons. The second shell, you have what? Eight. The third shell, what you have? Eighteen. The fourth shell, you have what? Three. The third is what? Thirty-one. Oh, and then you know thirty-one is the atomic number, and at the same time, thirty-one is the number of electrons divided in shells. When you see the next inner element, Session 55, and then you go to 55, you get it there on your table. 55 is on page 292, and then you see there first shell 2, second shell 8, the third shell 18, the fourth shell 18. This number is the amount of electrons that these shells can handle, and then you have it there. The fourth, the fifth, is eight. And then the, the sixth shell, you have there what? One. So session is what? 55. So that's the last one. What is not means one, handle just one, means what left over. So now you have here, you see 55. 55 letters. Now, what I want to talk to you is that each of these metals we can use uh, in, our, in our daily life. For example, zinc. What do you use zinc? Zinc you use in cars, okay? Uh, to do what? You to do fans, cans, roof. All you do with zinc. The zinc is what? Zn. And then you get nickel. Why you use nickel? Nickel, you see here, uh, we can use for stainless steel, and then you have what? Another one, lead. Lead is so interesting because the symbol is what? PB. How come doesn't have anything with lead? It's because it came from Latin language, and the Latin language is what? Plumbium. So this one is very what? High density, the high density. He uses what in car battery. So each metal, if you read, we can use uh, in our society. Now, when you go to page 295, we're gonna see no metals, no metals. And then you're gonna see here, they start with bromide. Bromide, remember that I always said to you, 
bromide is lacquer. Bromide is lacquer. And then when you go to bromide, after that you're gonna see what? Hydrogen, hydrogen, very flammable. But when you mix with oxygen, you make water on page 295. So I will continue now, no matter, next class. And uh, for today, we stop here. But keep reading that you can be familiar, but very aware about uh, the periodic table. Thank you.